good day to you learners hope you are doing fine in today's lesson in biology we are going to talk about the body symmetry and orientation body symmetry and orientation so after studying this unit you should be able to explain the term body symmetry and also orientation you should be able to distinguish between the various types of sectioning in biology then also you should be able to describe the various orientations of specimens okay so let's start with symmetry body symmetry the word symmetry refers to the distribution of the parts of an object or a body or living things or we can say in other words it refers to how a body can be divided into two or equal parts. So all animals except the sponges exhibit either radial symmetry or bilateral symmetry. So animals without symmetry such as the sponges are referred to asymmetrical. Asymmetrical. Now, let's look at the bilateral symmetry. The bilateral symmetry means that the body can be divided along a plane that divides the animal into left and right sides. Or the body can be divided to produce mirror images. So, let's look at a picture of it. So, we have a picture there. So, we can divide this organism into two. You can see the dark part and the colored part. Which means we can divide this organism equally to produce a mirror image. So, examples of, organ examples of organisms that exhibit bilateral symmetry are uh, one we have mango fruits we have human beings the human body we have dog we have shark these organisms exhibit the bilateral symmetry they can produce mirror images now let's look at the second part Radial symmetry. So an organism shows radial symmetry if the body of the organism can be divided along more than one plane in order to produce mirror images. They can be divided along more than one plane. So in radial symmetry, body parts of an organism's an organism emerge or radiates from a central point much like spokes on a wheel so let's look at examples example we have the okra fruits we have orange we have the sea anemone the jellyfish etc so just look at this flower we can divide this flower into one, two, three. Three parts to produce mirror image. So it's, we are not dividing this flower into just two parts, but we can divide in many parts to produce mirror image or mirror images. Okay. So organisms that exhibit radial symmetry have a top and bottom, but they have neither a dorsal side or a ventral side. We'll explain this as we move on. Now, this brings us to the end of symmetry. Now, let's look at the section. Section, when we say section in biology, what does it mean? For section, a specimen is said to have been sectioned 
when it is cut to show certain internal structures so we are to cut this organism to show certain internal structures let's look at the types of sections as you study biology you'll be hearing this one we have the longitudinal section the ls longitudinal section and what is it it's a section that runs through the length of the entire or part of specimen so the longitudinal section is always made along the longer axis of an organism just take a look at this picture this is the longitudinal section we are talking about so we are saying that it runs through the length of the entire or part of a specimen okay now let's look at the second type it's called the transverse section the transverse section what is it is a section that passes crosswise through the entire or part of a specimen it passes crosswise through the entire or part of a specimen so the ts the transverse section is always made along the shorter axis of an organism for the longitudinal section we said is made along the longer axis but for the ts is made along the shorter axis just take a picture just take a look at this picture so this is the transverse section the ts ts now let's look at the last one that's the vertical section the vertical section it's a section that runs upright through a hole or part of a specimen so the vs known as the vertical section is normally made through an organism with no distinct or clear length or breadth so it must be noted that the cut section of any organism should be repeated by double lines to indicate the thickness of that section when being drawn i hope you had this i'm repeating again it must be noted that the cut section of any organism should be represented by double lines to indicate the thickness of that section when being drawn okay since we've seen section now let's look at the orientation how an organism is positioned so orientation refers to how an organism is positioned or viewed when being drawn so all organisms can be positioned and drawn from the anterior the posterior the dorsal the ventral or the lateral views now the anterior views refers to the front or the head end of an organism just take a look at this picture then with the posterior or the caudal view it refers to the rear or hind or tail end of an organism what of the dorsal view the dorsal view refers to the back or the upper top part of the organism what of the lateral view the lateral view is the side view of the organism and the ventral view refers to the belly or the under part of an organism okay so it depends on how you face the organism but it's still the same still the same okay this brings us to the end of today's lesson so these are your assignments please try and assess yourself i'll see you in the next lesson bye